Tom's breakthroughs were so under the radar, but yet so on the money, because after riding all these boards, a standard like 7.2 was like kind of what a lot, like he had a, a Morris Cole 7.2, I think he had like a 6.8 Almeric. He had the 711 Dave Parmeter Widowmaker, and and he used all those pieces of equipment uh, to their function to their max. But then, why not pull out this like supposed novelty board and paddle out into you know 10 to 15 foot waves? Yeah, the 57 I rode is a board shape by Tommy Peterson. The dimensions were kind of like a fish hybrid with a short board. It had these channels it came down kind of through from the midpoint down and then it dropped off and it was kind of flat through the fins like a flat V. That was something I'd never seen before you know this particular channel setup. He actually took that board paddled past everybody which he had done with the other boards and he sat like way up the point but he was like so far up the point that like at times where is he and then out of nowhere You'd see him like scratching at the top of these foamers and he was getting these roll-ins way before they even started to break. And he was like zigzagging down the mountain just, just like a towing surfer. But he was doing it with his bare hands. I got a bunch of waves and I was, you know, a little bit nervous at first because it, you know, it was such a, you know, kind of a board for small waves. Um, but once it seemed to work well, I was getting more comfortable with it because the waves were so smooth and really easy to catch. It kind of had a nice roll in that you could get into easily and you know and then the wave would set up so it wasn't a matter of uh, you know having a board that was too small to catch the waves which really was the main factor. Without a doubt the revolution of you know Tom's ride on the fish and the fish board being unveiled like that it you know it was a breakthrough.